So when we last checked in on our next build, he was looking something like this, right? But what would happen if we went for just maximum damage? Well, not maximum damage. We're not going to go crazy with it or anything. But, you know, what if we just increase dexterity? How do you like me now, Dad? How do you like me now, Dad? How do you like me now, Dad? How do you like me? No, I'm, I'm just playing. It's not, it's not really going to look like that. Welcome to the world. of the bidexual. I say that because uh, instead of the typical 40, we've almost got 80 fucking points in dexterity with this build right now, um, which is just absolutely ludicrous. Uh, you can see the damage is nigh on fucking retarded. Sharp infused dagger backstab, 813 hit points, and that's all that guy had. Like, we, we might have been able to do more. I know everybody's all about the uh, dark-infused Lothric Knight Sword and the chaos-infused dagger, and I understand why. The, the damage is absolutely crazy, but 70 dex-ish in that range, um, also not bad for damage. That was a botched attempt at a backstab there. Um, but yeah, we're, we're bidexual because we put basically 40-40 into all decks. Um, yeah, you can see 236 damage. With an R1 on a straight sword, 236 damage. I have great swords that don't do that much damage on strength builds. It's insane. Having that kind of damage output on a straight sword, that's like borderline fucking broke. Like I said, I know everybody's all about the dark and chaos, and the dark makes sense because no one has dark defense except for pyromancers. Uh, and the chaos dagger having that broke-ass critical, uh, that's self-explanatory. Um, but this is plenty good. Plenty good. 70 decks, plenty good. I make a mistake here. Whip out the falchion, thinking it's my dagger. I knew I wanted to show off the falchion a little bit in these invasions, so I went ahead and equipped it. Uh, but in this narrow-ass hallway corridor thing, what I was looking for was the backstab with the dagger. Uh, and then I see these two are both using big weapons. Uh, one's got the glaive, one's got the great sword, the ultra version. So I don't want to be too close to this for too long. This is basically just asking to get stunlocked to death. So I did a bit of damage. Well, with this build, a fucking shit ton of damage. I did a shit ton of damage. Just a metric shit ton. Which is larger than a standard shit ton. Now, one thing I forgot to take into consideration was I was going to need to switch to the Oni Slayer. I've still got the Millwood here, which I can't use anymore. I mean, I can use it uh, as Lionel's about to find out. The weapon art works just fine. But... I did switch over to the Oni Slayer. Um, however, we do get pretty good returns out of the Black Bow of Ferris. Now, keep in mind, look how far this distance is. Um, we're pinging him. We can annoy him from that far away, which is kind of nice. Uh, we're not going to, you know, do a 200 damage from that distance, but the fact that we can hit someone from that distance um, without aiming our shot any more than we have to, that's, that's pretty impressive. Um, I know a lot of you guys... Uh, wish that the dancers twin swords were better um, y'all need to figure out what the fuck Harold's doing because he does one move here <laughs> Lionel paying me back look at the damage boom what the fuck was that just press that button if you want dancer swords to be good just press that button the one Harold pressed figure that shit out I'm just playing I know it's gonna underperform but Harold got me pretty good there me and Lionel are going to duke it out here on this little island. It's prime real estate in this toxic pond. Uh, so the battle is up close in tight, which kind of favors um, his Ultra Greatsword. Uh, he just goes a little R1 mash happy with it. Uh, he, he hears a hit confirm, and he just won't stop swinging, regardless of whether or not it's going to combo into anything or not. So I'm able to apply enough pressure to get him away from me. And I'm looking for that backstab. 
ultra stunned. Ultra staggered. 618 damage with the Lothric straight sword backstab. No hornet ring. Uh, keep in mind, Lothric Knight Sword does have 110 critical modifier, where every other straight sword just has, you know, the straight 100. Um, so it's not a bad weapon for criticals. Uh, it's the best of the long swords, or straight swords, obviously. And for a backstab fisher like me, that's just fine. Here's the falchion. Three hits and you're fucking dead. <laughs> One, two... Three. Four. <laughs> shout out to Schwa Kari. I'm going shieldless. And shout out to my boy Latrek of Karim. With the shodel. Showing fire keepers how it's done. Since 2013, boy. Boy. After that plunge attack, and getting chased down by this Corvian Knight, watch this blue. Taps out. <laughs> it just gave the fuck up. <laughs> I think... I have found... my... my build. This is nice. The Corvian Knight hitting me is not nice. But, uh... The straight sword damage... The winged spear damage when I'm chasing people down... Um... The falchion... Uh, I, I keep a, uh, a deep infused whip on this character. Uh, for turtles, um, as well as the Shodel, which is sharp infused. That fucking host just saved that blue's life. I know a lot of people, uh, they hate on the Falchion because it, it had that swing speed nerf. But the damage on the thing is just so good. Hundred and twenty three damage, I think I that said. And that was to break their tears. Just ludicrous. Move bitch, get out the way, kinda ludicrous. Get back, motherfucker. You don't know me like that. Kinda ludicrous. So what happens when straight sword Jesus meets elevator Jesus? Ripperoni. The Golden Shower Phantom. Removed from the face of this earth by the Hornet Ring from the elevator guard break. <laughs> I was proud of that. Shout out to Straight Sword Jesus. Roll Catch Jesus. Shout out to my man Shadow from Final Fantasy VI. Dog eats strangers. The straight sword eats roll spammers. To finish this video off, here's the build first of all, uh, and I'll show the equipment off as well. But I wanted to take a minute to just recognize um, the fact that this channel uh, officially has 1,000 subscribers now, which is pretty crazy, honestly. Um, this channel started off as me just doing invasions and talking to myself. <laughs> and I would just watch the videos back and try and figure out what I did right and what I did wrong to sort of improve. Um, 
And then as I got better at invasions, I felt like maybe I could like share some of the, the tips and tricks I discovered along the way, uh, and just play around with um, the mechanics uh, of the, the gameplay mechanics as well as like the combat mecha mechanics, and um, it's turned into this uh, with a thousand people who watch these videos regularly now, which is fucking, I don't know, I, I know that's not a lot in the big scheme of things, but that's still crazy that, you know, one person makes some stuff and a thousand people watch it and like it. Um, so it's very much appreciated. Uh, thank you guys very much. I've said this in another video, and I'll say it again. Um, I'm sure a lot of us in real life probably have a lot of stuff in common besides Dark Souls, but when we come to this channel, um, we all have Dark Souls in common, and I think that's really cool. I'll see you guys next time. Later, y'all.